Welcome back to Gaming Top Down. My name is David, and today we're going to be unboxing one of my most anticipated games of 2024, and that is Sand, a game published by Devere in kind of their small, medium-sized box line that includes games like Bamboo and White Castle and the Red Cathedral. Sand was designed by Ariel Di Costanzo and Javier Pelizari, and the art is by Ernest Sala and Mato Pena. And yeah, I'm just very excited to get this one to the table. So let's open it up now that I've got the shrink wrap off and see what is inside. All right, first up is the rule book. Looks like there are five of them in different languages. I know just reading online, the rule book is one of the things that people have had some issues with in learning the game here being a little bit late to the the party with this game i do have the benefit of other youtubers and their teaching videos that will be very helpful the rule book doesn't look bad just from the look of it but i think the layout has been confusing to some players so i will take a peek and get to my own opinion on that in my review of the game hopefully coming in the next couple weeks yeah, the art is really cool. That's one of the things that drew me to this game. I like it when a game can, that mix of kind of a complex game with a lot going on with kind of a an art style that is kind of different than that, kind of juxtaposed with that, I think is always fun. So really like the art in this game. All right, other than that, we have some, what looks like player aids, again, in... A few different languages. Let me just make sure here. Yeah, looks like there are four player aids. Well, only three? No, four player aids in English here. And then a few other languages. Probably Spanish, French. And I'm not sure. But there are four in English. And those are big, nice cards. Hopefully those are helpful too. Cool. Next up, we have what I believe are the boards. Let's just pull all of them out. Whoops, got a few other things stuck in there. And yeah, that's right. So we have the player boards. Each player has one of these boards that represent their caravan that is selling goods on their silkworm. And you'll keep track of your different resources here, like your thirst and your hunger and your health. And I think these are prayer and ooh, influence or something, persuasion maybe. And yeah, everything that you sell, you also keep a record of here in this side. I like the dual layer boards. They feel nice. I hope that they, yeah, it looks like they will sit kind of flat as well. So those will be fun. You also have some characters here with different tiles that you can upgrade. I like it when a game has a unique and interesting player board that I can manage all of my stuff on. So I'm excited to, yeah, to play this game and see how that how that all fits together. Those look fun. I didn't realize they were uh, bifold there, but it does look like they fold nicely and they do go pretty flat. So that is good to see. So there are four of those. Then we have the main game board. Let's put it out here so that we can see it. The game board consists of different sections. You have kind of the harbor up here and then different locations on the map that you can sell goods to. So you'll be moving all over the place. This is a pickup and deliver game, which is a genre that I haven't historically been a huge fan of, uh, but I think it looks interesting in this one. So we'll see if it maybe clicks with me better than, than it has with some other games. All right, next up in the in the box, we have the four big dice. They're rolled every turn and placed in this little cardboard cardboard tray that you build on the side. Those are actually very big. I have big hands, so these dice are pretty pretty large. Got an orange baggie. I believe that this holds all of the lesser value goods that are, I think, the primary colors. Maybe, no, I think they're blue, white, and and black maybe. Anyways, the lesser value goods go in this bag. It's kind of small, 
but I think with a little effort, should be able to grab stuff out of there. Here are all of those cubes. Let's pull a few out to see what they look like. Yeah, lots of different cubes. Got different colors, black, white. These are blue, purple, and brown. Gray, yellow, green, and pink. Some silica gel for good measure. And also some blue and red ones. So lots of cubes. They represent all of the goods that you can sell, of which I think there are three different tiers, and in each tier there are multiple different kinds. So I think maybe seven total. All right, after that we have some wood pieces. Looks like the player meeples. They are in the four different player colors. Your silk worm pieces. Those look fun. Kind of a fun way to represent you and your caravan selling goods. So yeah, I love those. Really like that there's a green as my preferred color there. Yeah, kind of some non-standard colors in my opinion. Kind of purple. It's kind of like a tan orange and a dark brown. So interesting color choices. Then we also have in the same player colors some other pieces. These represent, I think, kind of a, a hideout or home base that you can build. And then these taller ponds are to represent your turn order on that track. So you have those, and then also um, your hideout that you can build and then pass resources back and forth if you're at the hideout location. So yeah, those look really nice too. They're big and, and chunky. I love wood pieces. So those look nice. Then the last wood piece is just the round tracker, I believe. Or it's not even the round, a phase tracker. In each round, you have three phases, morning, afternoon, and evening, I believe. And this little wood piece tracks that up here on the board. So nice visual way to represent that. All right, left in the box, we've got a few more things. We have the cardboard punch outs. And they feel like they're a pretty good thickness and quality. Here is some pieces for that tray with some instructions on how to build it. And the four dice that are rolled each round will slot into those four holes on the top. Then we got some currency over here. Nice little touch that there's an extra punch out. So those will have a kind of a square hole in the center. Different punch outs for, I guess, different values of currencies for the different musical notes for each player color. And then these are some of those cardboard tokens that go on your player board. You have your own silkworm. I believe this is the one for the solo bot that you play against, which is this character. Al has read, maybe? Al, Al has read. Yeah. Al has read his homework. I don't know. And then you have some other tiles that are for variability in setup for the different locations. And then these are the different kind of companion pieces that you can get during the game on the right side of your player board. So got some of those and four of each it looks like so that each player has the opportunity to earn those. And yeah, that looks like all of the cardboard punch outs. Okay, and then last up we have some cards and they're very small. Let me open them up real quick and we'll take a peek at the card set. All right, here are the cards. They represent, other than these ones, which I think are for the solo game, they represent the different rounds of the game with the different number of dots on the back here represent, representing which round they are in, I believe. And let's see, I think they get darker and darker as we go down. And then in each card, there is a, a top benefit and then kind of a bottom end of game objective and you get to choose when you take a card at the end of the round which of those two things you would like and those look pretty yeah great they're in, you know they're small and not very thick but quality seems okay and i don't think these cards get really played with much they're just shuffled at the beginning and then set up at the top near the harbor and used at the end of each round so yeah those look uh just fine. So there are those cards. 
And let's lastly just take a peek at the solo cards. I'm guessing that they keep track of what actions the solo bot will perform. It's like values 1, 2, 3, and 4 in two different directions, clockwise and counterclockwise. All right. Well, that is everything in the box for the game Sand, the latest game from Devere. Very excited for this one. I have Bamboo, which is one of their earlier games, and really like it. I like their kind of initiative to fit a bigger game than you would anticipate in a smaller box. I really appreciate that as someone who really values the real estate space that board games take on my shelf. So excited to try. I hope that this one will convert me to being a pickup and deliver fan and will be worth the time and money that I spent on it. So thanks so much for stopping by. Check out the other unboxings I have here on the channel and look forward to a review of this game and some others coming shortly. Thanks so much. Until next time, see ya. Thank <music> you.